patience, perseverance, and then let go. Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. Truth be told, the chickens are already out, but we're going to walk over and take a look at them because I had a phone call I had to make before I could make this video. So, interestingly enough, last night we had another snake. Two snakes in one day in the chicken house. This one was up in the nesting box feasting on eggs. Needless to say, it was dispatched because it was interfering with my livestock and, as allowed under state law, I, as a, an official owner of livestock, am able to take care of such things. Such things. So those of you offended by dispatch dispatching snakes, um, keep your offense to yourself. So, hey, what are we talking about here? Well, been having some issues over the last couple of days. Um, with an email server and some technical issues and things that we're trying to get done. And one of the things that I've learned over the last 20 years is that every once in a while stuff's going to break. And there are lessons to be learned from when stuff breaks. And the lessons to learn are many. Number one, if you have any sort of database, make sure that you have a copy of it backed up to your own computer. Do not just depend on the data center who says we do nightly backups to protect your data. This can be folly. I would tell you to make sure that you back it up to your own hard drive at least once a week. <sighs> the second thing is when things break, have patience. Have patience with people and your team. They know you're upset. They know that you are stressed. They know that you're worried. They know that your business depends on this. They probably care, but they probably have issues right now that are more immediate than your feelings. So it's important to have patience with people. And finally, perseverance. It means that when something breaks, that doesn't mean that the rest of the world stops moving. So you can't just freeze in place and sit there and basically just stay freaked out until that one thing gets fixed. So the, the final piece of the puzzle though is to let go and let people do what they need to do. Because micromanaging someone, especially in a stressful situation, normally does not end really, really well. If you honestly think that the people are trying to fix the thing, then you just got to let them do their thing, let it go and do something else. Otherwise, you're just going to drive yourself freaking nuts. So lots of lessons to take away today. Number one, if you are a snake and you invade my chicken house, you will be killed with the most extreme vengeance. Okay, it was kind of biblical. Um, number two, apparently the chickens are taking this in stride and engaging in procreation. That's a great thing. And um, I don't know, if something bad happens, don't sink into your little pity pot and, and implode. Put things in place to get it fixed. Let the people who are trying to fix it get it fixed and do something else to distract yourself from having a conniption fit. So... That's just some old homespun gym logic from the chicken yard. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.